I'm glad I can share this devotional with you today. The last devotional that I shared was about God's love and how his love is steadfast and continuous and it is always with us. I continue on in thinking about God's love because it's such a complex subject and our hearts are led so many different directions and by the world around us. Of course, we're living in a time where people are feeling more lonely because of quarantine and also social distancing, but God's love is always with us and he is always for us. Our popular culture tells us uh, that uh, it should be found much more with uh, the relationship that you have with a special somebody. And I came across uh, these lyrics from Alison Krauss, uh, who wrote, When You Say Nothing At All. And her lyrics go like this. Once again, I won't sing, but I will read the lyrics. It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. Without saying a word, you light up the dark. Try as I may, I could never explain what I hear when you don't say a thing. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying, you'll never leave me. A touch of your hand says you'll catch me if I ever fall. Now you say it best when you say nothing at all. There's something about somebody close being special, being present with them. When we think of God's love, though, once again, it is deeper, it is richer, and it is more present than we might think or might appreciate. Once again, we go back to Psalm 136 now reading about God's love as it's shown in creation. Reading verses 3 through 9. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who by understanding made the heavens, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who spread out the earth upon the waters, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who made the great lights, for his steadfast love endures forever. The sun to rule over the day, for his steadfast love endures forever. The moon and stars to rule over the night, for his steadfast love endures forever. We are blessed with a great creation that is all around us. And I'm not sure whether you're a bird lover or a flower lover or uh, just like to go for walks or maybe none of these things strike your fancy at all. But there is something about the creation that has a way of enlightening and encouraging our souls. And these are all truths that share about a God who loves us. My guess is you've been out on a starry night and maybe you've seen uh, the uh, constellations in the skies. That's all a part of who God is, his wonder and his creative ability. But have you thought about it, that he has created this to show love to us as his uh, creations, that he showed it for you and he showed it for me? Have you been out uh, taking a walk in the woods and uh, seen uh, an animal that you weren't expecting or uh, see some birds that you haven't uh, weren't uh, expecting? And did God make this? Yes, he did. But there's all an illustration of his love for you and his love for me. When the sun rises, when the sun sets in a spectacular fashion, once again, he made that and he created it. And when we see that and take appreciation, it's all a sign that God loves you and he loves me. His love is a backdrop on our lives. And we see it in a whole bunch of different ways. So some of which I'll share with you in the next uh, devotionals. But when you see a sunset, when you see uh, a bird that uh, you weren't expecting, when you see uh, an animal out in the woods, or you enjoy uh, the uh, stars at night, they're all signs that God loves you and he loves me. And he is steadfastly committed to you and to me. I hope you're blessed by these thoughts today. Uh, We're thinking of you and praying for you at the church. God loves you. May God bless you.